Should I enable or disable XI hand off in BIOS setup when running Windows 7? I have a Jetway NF9 EQ77 motherboard which supports USB 3.0. An Intel driver is available to enable USB 3.0 support in Windows 7. Assuming the driver is installed, should XI hand off be enabled or disabled in BIOS setup? The BIOS manual says this. XI handoff select enable for operating systems without XI handoff support. The XI ownership change will be claimed by the XI driver. The settings are enabled and disabled. I know Windows 7 doesn't natively support USB 3.0. That being the case, it seems the settings should be enabled. On the other hand, the Intel driver enables USB 3.0 support in Windows 7. That being the case, it seems the settings should actually be disabled. Which one is correct? I asked over at Intel Communities to try get to the bottom of this. It turns out Intel Engineering has something to say about this. According to Engineering, it is necessary to leave it as Enabled for XI Does the Intel USB 3.0 driver for 7 series chipset support XI handoff? So that's that then. When running Windows 7 Plus Intel's USB 3.0 drivers, XI handoff must be enabled in the BIOS setup. I found an interesting bug relating to ASI handoff. It may only be on some motherboards. For later operating systems, you would normally run with ASI handoff disabled. On an ASUS M4A89 GTD Pro slash USB 3, and maybe others, if you need to use USB legacy support to allow BIOS control with a USB keyboard, then you must also enable ASI handoff, otherwise several USB controllers will fail with code 10. If suffering from this problem, you must uninstall the failed controllers in Device Manager, and then allow them to be redetected. They should then come back okay. I thought I'd blown some USB ports until I found that.